Hello there, this is Melek, and welcome to episode 5 of my Let's Play Minecraft with Thorncraft and Feed the Beast and stuff like that. Um, Season X! Must remember to say Season X in a silly voice. This is like an essential part of it, I think. Um, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is very quickly make myself some armor, because I'm really um, struggling if I don't have decent armor. And then, I know, I know, I could make a helmet, but I kind of want to keep some iron to myself. Chuck that back in there. Ta-da! I now have kind of okay-ish armor. And an iron breastplate's kind of, you know, that's a fairly standard thing. Leather armor, iron breastplate, that's... that's that, people do that, you know? People, people do that kind of thing. So, yeah. Um... I need more stuff, more supplies, um, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go on a bit of a, like an exploration thing. Um, I could probably also do with a little, little bit more wood. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how things go with a bit of exploration. I may explore along the coast, actually. Okay, we've got weird floating... I like it when sand just, like, spawns in this kind of weird... Whoa, look at that. That's some serious floating sand. Whee! Right. Um, um, yeah, let's explore the coast a little bit. See what there is. I mean, there's clearly some lands across the sea, across the bay. Um... Yeah, I'm going to get my sword out and slay a chicken. I remember people saying that actually this is like um, Thorncraft stuff. Ah, you know what? People were saying the little orby things, you know, those little, little orby things that sort of faded away on their own. Um, they were saying there was something to do with Thorncraft. And I'm, I'm going to make the assumption that they may... Be like the the is it vis vis? I'm not sure the ex the official pronunciation, but basically the the active magic stuff that you get in your wand. So I I'm gonna get me wand out. Oh my! And and see about you know what this this book for I don't I don't really need that at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. So, when I kill things, I'm going to quickly whip out my wand. <sighs> yes, it's going to be one of those episodes. I'm going to whip out my wand and, um, and see if it absorbs those little sparkling orbs. Because my, my assumption last episode, or last few episodes, of them being experienced and it being a bug, they're clearly coloured. So, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking it may be, may be magical stuff. Um, Yes, yeah, so let's follow the coast. Go through this swampy area. Make some like bridges. Mud. Oh wow, mud is mud is um I don't like mud. Now, my 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 goal ultimately is to find more caves and then find gold. I need gold. Gold seems to be a thing. More iron is also going to be very helpful. I like exploring as well. I'm not in a massive rush to, you know, get specific stuff. Uh, yeah, look at that. Now, there is some interesting stuff. There's like a huge forest of, of stuff underwater. Stuff. All of the stuff. Um, and then that one, the water's glowing. I'm, I'm totally following the coast. Mystical grey flowers. Um, oh, yes, yeah, someone mentioned, <coughs> Luma, um, 
what was the point in putting waypoints on my home and the lab when they're right next to each other, invisible, you know, they're, they're inside of each other. And I'm like, well, because when I'm, you know, off on a quest like I am now and I want to head back, I can head directly to either one. You know, I might not want to go directly to the lab from over here. And it's useful to know exactly where each one is. It's also nice to have two things that are next to each other. There's a big tree there. I'm totally heading there. Um, so that almost gives me orientation. You know, if I can see that they're next to each other like that, I kind of know roughly um, which direction I am from them. Oh, there's pumpkins over there. Uh, I'm not sure why I specifically want pumpkins, but me. It's a thing. It's a thing to have. Okay. Any orbs? You see, I want to test it. If I get orbs coming out, I think maybe the orbs are automatically. Okay, okay, right. Um, 25, 22, 4, 14. Oh, yeah, just simply having the wand like that, that 23 has gone up, the 22 went up to 23. So yeah, it, it absorbed. So yeah, those orbs are definitely to recharge a wand. Awesome. Awesome. I'm up for that, up for getting a bit of wand recharging. Now, the question is, does the wand absorb stuff if it's just in my inventory, but away from, uh, but away from my, my task bar, you know, my active bar. That is another thing I need to find out. And it'll put, oh, hello. Just random surface iron. Yeah, this is gonna take a long time. So, let me get the spade. Dig up a lot of sand. It's quick to dig up, and it's what I've got available. Let's just chuck all of that in there. Although I'm going to eat an apple. I'm a little bit peckish. Nom. Chuck the sand down here. And then chuck. We've got coal in here as well. Now that's going to pour water in. That's going to pour a lot of water in. So I think it's probably worth just chucking. Ah, I, I actually put a, a, a the wrong kind of block there. It's it's cool. It's getting dark though. That's the uh, the other problem. So I probably don't want to be spending too much of any time faffing about in this hole. You know what? Let's not be in a hole when it's getting dark. Really don't think it's a good idea. All right, there's that big tree. So if I make headway, yeah, let's let's make progress toward that big tree. Keep on getting the odd little lag spike. Little, yeah, that, that's that's a bit weird. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. I'm feeling slightly more... Oh, see, I get a big spike then. Another one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 
Oh, we've got another silverwood tree from the looks of it. Ah, shit. High ground, high ground. Open high ground. Here we go. Birth. <laughs> what? It's it's one less thing for me to be... You know what? Let's just head toward the silver tree, because at least that's a... Um... Wow, there's... What the hell is that? There's like a weird... Ugh! It spawns zombies. It's right next to the silver tree, and the ground is like gray. Okay, I'm just gonna... Where's the silver wood tree? What the hell? It's gotten huge! What the hell? Okay, this is ridiculous. What the hell? Okay, they're invulnerable. No, they're not. The hell? There's like weird zombies spawning out of that. I don't, I don't like that at all. There's a chick. Yeah, you've got the right idea, chicken. Getting up in a tree. Um, I'm getting up in this tree. It's slightly safer, maybe. The hell? Okay, it's not that much safer, in fairness. Um, I'm just kind of. It's slightly safer, just because I can... I'm not surrounded... Oh, there's a bloody Enderman over there. Um... Okay, right. This is, this is, this is fine, this is fine. Um, I'm out at night with zombies that are incredibly strong. I mean, they take a huge amount of punishment. And they seem to spawn around a, a weird obsidian thing. Ah! No! You go away! Uh, bloody Enderman. I don't like Enderman. Well, they're, they're, again, they're probably less damaging than the bloody these zombies. I mean, what are these things? Oh, now he's trying to get me to look at the Enderman. That's fine. He's, he's um, cows are in the trees now. Um... This is fine. Where's the where's the moon? The moon is basically overhead now, so this is fine. I'm just gonna head this way because it's just away from all the horror. Spiders aren't that great at climbing trees. I've suddenly sort of clicked because they can't get up the trunks because it's it's, it's, over, it's an overhead. An overlap, you know, overlapping over thingy. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. The zombies, they, they're like kind of, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get you somehow. What the hell is with them zombies? They get bigger the more damage they take. And then they shrink back down? Does that mean that they're healing? Or that, or that they're just, it's the initial damage that makes them grow? Not r rather than their current health levels. Don't know. Don't know. Is that that same one? Well, I killed him. And I got his brain. Which can only be a good thing, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure that... Possessing a zombie brain is a good thing. Actually, then again, I think it's um, Thorncraft stuff anyway. Need research. Did I just see a load of squid just spontaneously appear? I feel I feel moderately safe. Shouldn't. It's true. So the silverwood tree is that way. Yeah, because look, there's like... There's the dark patch. It's probably because of that obsidian thing. 
waypoint, new waypoint. Oh, I, I actually can't just set a waypoint there. Actually, I probably can, in fairness. Here we go. Silver wood. Um, which is going to be like, did I do that? Something like that? I think so. Yeah. I have that sort of rough colour. Edit. Make it brighter. There you go. Bit of consistency, yeah? Okay. So yeah, just double click on the map. Create a waypoint wherever you want. But yeah, that um that dark area and its horribleness. Are there any other dark areas, you know? It's curious. There's a dark area there, but I don't know whether that's a swampy thing. Oh look, there's one oh my god, there's actually quite a few of them. I'm assuming they won't spawn zombies during the day. There's lava. Okay, well, there's some brightness there. I think I need to head toward these dark areas. There's one right near the home. So, dark place. Can't. Save it. Um, twenty eight. I don't bloody know. Well, I know that the land is roughly about 128, isn't it? Maybe? There's probably somewhere in the sky 128, but it, it, it's fine. I mean, as long as it shows me where it is, I'm cool. There's a dark place. And there's a dark place. Maybe making them black wasn't the best choice of colours. Oh, the moon is setting. I am going to head. Um, once it's... Yeah, here we go. Look at that. Sun is rising. I'm going to head back to that silverwood tree. And it's a shame I don't have a diamond pick. Because I bet that little obsidian totem does still require, you know, what obsidian normally requires. But yeah. I, I do need to do what I originally decided I needed to do. And that is... You know, and a cave and get some gold. It's holding back my research. Nah, the sun rising. It's a beautiful thing. But yeah, these dark places. Seems to be that they're near the trees. Because look, there's one there, I think. Might be quite a big one. The one I've got here. It's not obvious, but yeah, you, you can just about see it. Right, okay. Um, Oi, spider, it's daytime. You're not supposed to be mean anymore. Oh, but you want to be mean, don't you? Well, then... Now you die. <laughs> Zombie carrying an egg. <laughs> and one carrying a flower. <laughs> and you. Well, you can die in a hole. 
Ah, the magical properties of water. The magical explosion preventative properties of water. No, no. I'm gonna head up here. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. And then. No. No. Here it is. Well, that's a hell of a thing. Just on the off chance you can take it down with an iron pick. Oh, you know what? It's it's cracking quickly. That was a bit of a weird sound. And I got a thrill essence. Hey, I'm not complaining. I'm basically getting obsidian with an iron pick. Or at least something that's damn close to obsidian. So yeah. That, that isn't too difficult. See, even when something doesn't seem like a logical possibility, sometimes it's worth just trying it out anyway. Shimmer leaf. Okay. I think you were going to say bring some more samples. Which I can't quite do because I've got mystical purple flowers. Well, that'll do then. <laughs> right. I'm going to head back. Um, and just basically see. What kind of... Hello. Hello. Ow. Random chicken death. Ethereal essence. With various kinds. Some weird stuff. Okay, well, there's basically nothing in here of significant worth. But coal is hardly something I can ignore. You never know how much coal you're going to need at any one time. And there may be, beyond this coal, a bit of something else, which is useful. And it gives me experience. Not that I can use the experience for anything yet. Oh, okay. There's something to my right as I'm looking now. Or was when I started speaking. Completionist. Okay. Um. Sounded like a cave this way, ish. But you know what? I need to just get back home. That's what I need to do. Fine, there's there's more coal in here, but it's not worth me uh, spending loads and loads of time collecting it all. Coal is not exactly uncommon. So I found lots of silverwood trees. Now I know that they're useful. Um, I mean, I know that wood is 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 basically vital to. Ooh, hello! Is that another one? I think it bloody is, you know. It's like right up the hill from my home. Awesome.
One of the cave. Ah, uh, it's just a pool. Not high on my priority list. Well, I'm going to do. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's nice. Oh, I like. I'm liking that. Okay. Waypoint new shaft. Yeah, I said shaft. The brightness. I don't know. It's a deep shaft, which I'm going to have to make sure I don't fall down accidentally because I fall down there, I'm going to be dead. Somewhere around here. There it is. Come on. Okay. Well, here's another double tree. Right, I'm going to get back home and call it a day for this episode. And then, I think, we need to um, get into a cave and just dig more. It's the mysterious cat. Which, I'm surprised it hasn't wandered off. Just, you know, literally just wandered off. I mean, I know that it can't despawn because of the tag, but why the hell hasn't it just wandered off? Is it, like, stuck in the cave? Has it decided now that it likes the cave? Some yeah, come on, let's, let's, let's call it. Let's call it. Let's call it. Okay. Um, okay, that's it for this episode. So, um, uh, until next time, Cheerio.